chivalry is It's a good question, right? <laughs> oh, whoa. This was a pickup that you know our old good buddy Renmar was hoping for yesterday. It's going to be high noon here, right? Clint yeehaw. locked in, yeehaw. Super Marco, this is a hero that he loves to pick up. We saw this even back in ISF. It was played with Again, the... Again, considering this, this is what AP Bren loves to do. Go ahead and focus on these objectives. Penalty zone onto the back view. Now the Mike Force ready. Cal Teasy picks up the first turtle. Oh! Amazing sandstorm from Cal Teasy as well to claim first blood and a double kill to start things off in game and each other perfectly right now. Again, that's the, one of the strengths there as well. Having the Nolan, you have the fracture. It can help you get out of some of those landing uh, spatial migrations, but still the pressure. Whoa! Uh, into the spatial migration into the demonic force! That's an implosion by Keyboy, a flicker to the wall. Oh. A demonic force again for the side of AP Bren to find a kill. Sounds not gonna be caught in the, another spatial migration. They're styling on Onik in the fourth. For the fight. Risky move, Flapteezy poking boots down right now as Ogwen flies by Keyboy. Knocks him off with a circling eagle. Sans is looking for an angle. Cal Teasy on the turtle. Penalty zone coming down as well. That's gonna be Kyrie who oh. secures the turtle. But a battle of Requiem. Oh. Spatial migration with a raging sandstorm. Knocks two up. And it's a two kill trade for the neutral objective. So far, the main thing I want to point out is into this gold lane. Neither of them have. Oh, wait a second. Another penalty zone into an implosion right now. Comboed in together with a guiding wind. They're able to get out, but the final Requiem once again comes down to turn things around. Phew, getting one final shot. Then, oh. of course, Kyrie dashing away, but Phew is inevitable. Sans getting gunned down. At this time, Kyle wow. Easy. He's feeling a CW now. In that oh. goal, oh. it'll be Dovon. He doesn't even need Kaltizi to jump on him. He hasn't even come into the equation yet. Onik, on the other hand, Oh, wait a second. Here we go Calvin again. Spatial, two. Spatial migration of the battle. Requiem into the raging sandstorm. The Wombo combo once again. Under. Used. Once again, Kyle. Spatial migration. The fracture of grass. Kyrie oh. is safe. From everything else, Ogwen's perfect circling eagle into Kyle Teasy's the base of Onik as they approach into it. Looking for the Siege with the first Lord of the game up top. Boots holding it down right now. But the circling eagle does come through from the side of Ogwen. Knocks boots up just a bit. Count easy, pushing some damage as well. Kyrie with a fracture. Not with a fracture, just with a passive alone. Takes the Lord down. Takes about 62k gold to have everybody maxed out. Onik is halfway there and we're 14 minutes in. And the Lord just came crashing down, taking one turret down. Sounds gonna be engaged on a good black shoes. And that's a spatial migration and the Violet Requiem faded out from AP Brett. Kyrie dealing some damage with the help of CW to clear out that enhanced Lord in the 14 minute of the game. Look at the defend in the mid lane. Raging Sandstorm coming down CW. So he oh. away. A penalty zone. Onto Black Teasy. Kyrie jumps through the fracture as well. But oh. the face migration dodged away from Keyboy. Oh. Two back. No implosion just yet. He already used it initially. And it's not enough CC to lock any of the AP Bread members down. Hey, that held it together. So if they can pull off another defense, they've got 17 seconds until Keyboy is back up. He was very important to defend. Oh. Oh. Black Shoes, apparently in time. Flap Teasy able to flicker out with a quick sand guard as well, but the Demonic Force comes down onto the base. AP Bren have dealt with two base. So CW's low, very low. Forced back, still not dead though. Keyboy respawning back in time, but AP Bren will have an enhanced Lord up top, marching down. You know, there's something really important we got to point out here. Onik is still yet to get a singular kill. Yeah. Kyrie has not found anybody. What is going on right now? Lord encroaching in. This is a big one. AP Bren looking for an opening to get an initiation fuel. Getting the shield with a photo as well from the side of Ogwin with a guiding win. Now Flap Teasy to be poked down by Sans with the Gloom's fuel. Caught off guard. Has the winner truncheon. Has the guiding win. Gets wow. out. Three base. Possibly steal a Lord at this point, right? This is. Oh. Black Flap. Shoes baited out. Flap Teasy taking low though. The Demonic Force is ready, Fuel. Decides to go oh, see oh. Fighting tackle out. Baptiste, only losing immortality. Sounds going to be able to kind of wait for it now. Kyrie's waiting in the midst. Fuel coming down. Keyboy! With a lot of damage, with a whole lot of CC lockdown. Kyrie tries to shut down the fracture as well. Sans still able to kind of wait. Cal Teasy looking for one final hit with the retribution. Slows him down. Oh. Sans pops in the black shoes. Cal Teasy not able to dish out enough damage. And Sans gets out in time. Boots still alive. Onik. Still alive, one for one. My the game goes, Onik will make that goal lead irrelevant. Kyrie's dealing some damage. They're actually holding out the waves. Yeah, with that too, Super Marco is going to pick up the wind of nature for this fight. Oh. It comes down to this Lord push. 
As both teams poke back and forth. Winner Truncheon already used up by few. He swapped into Immortality right now. CW to be brought back to the team right now. It's a very sad storm. We'll be hours away from by Kyrie. CW pops into with an nature, able to shot some damage. W. The kill. The base is wide open, but it's going to be cleared out. Sans in the back, doing some damage. Oh. Immortality's falling left and right. AP Pred losing members. W. Now teams with the patient by Great. Base, an implosion. It does like that. The Sky King descend from the skies back to the Philippines. I've got chills right now. What, what is going on? Onik at what? 22 minutes making the comeback. Are they going to be able to run this down mid? I said let's dream earlier. What just happened? Taking a look at the instant replay presented by Kadia. It just unfolds here. Masterclass Keyboy finds the implosion of a lifetime. Keyboy, that one play. Now the base is wide open. One straight push. Is it all they oh. did? Onyx, what in the world was that? It should not have happened. It couldn't have happened. It happened. It happened here. Game one. Kill list, turret list. 14k behind, and on it comes back and takes game one. We're talking at 15 minutes, zero kills on the board. How? How? Nothing. How? It's on. Dynamic two, and the Lord is up. You already watching for one knock up. Now you gotta watch out for the wild charge, right? But also, it's a good peeling oh, effect. Oh, whoa. here we go again. Once again. AP Brent pulls through with an Odette pick. Okay, so. Me and Gideon were brainstorming this a lot the day that that Odette got picked up. Yep. And top a bit faster for Onik. Kalteezy looking for the setup as well, but Keyboy just pops in at Power of Nature. Oh! And oh. a wild charge, and Keyboy gets the turtle as well. Wow! Game number one, it was two kills and a turtle over to AP Bren. Game number two starts off with Onik really, doing really well here, but also the vision that's usually on point allows oh. this. Wild charge, flicker combo into the fracture. Kyrie gets rid of Fiona. Wow. That's another combo together. Oh, Gwen walled down. But Onik, they'll take this strike in. Whereas when we take a look at Kyle TZ, he's got practically nothing uh -oh. on his side. That's a wall down. Super Marco gonna be caught, pitched down right now with a lot of damage coming through. Kyrie will be able to give CW the kill down below the entire turret shield as well into an Astral Sphere and an Astral Echo. Two thirds of the way to the Holy Trinity. And it's gonna be trouble once he locks that in because the rest of his team is, oh. Oh. Spatial migration, Foul Requiem, and the Swan Song onto Keyboy. Wow. Final slash oh. as well, but Keyboy wow. gets out with a wild charge. That was Kyrie. Into the back of Fracture, not getting him just yet. Minute Fury, Flicker combo, boots with the penalty zone. Distracting the back line, open, barely dodging away from that last hit, but CW's rotating over already now. Immobilized under the turret, boots taking low right now. Vengeance comes down with the Astral Echo with a what? few more hits. CW finds the kill under the tier one of AP Prep. Onik Esports goes. Finding a kill and almost a tower uh -oh. for themselves. Oh, Keyboy. They're going to be able to make it another one. That's a knockup, but Keyboy's still chasing. He's chasing. He's hungry. Few gets the dash. Super Marco gets few out. But all that, while that was happening, Onik took. What? Oh. With a wall on two. Echo as the Lord marches down bottom lane, this time with the first Lord looking. For one base turret, final oh. slash flicker combo. Not gonna be able to connect right now. CW free hits. Keyboy in the back. This might be the first oh. zone into the wild charge. Keyboy taking low. Swan Song and the Minus Fury boots caught in enemy territory. 1v4, but the Lord was able to deal with the base turret. Now Super Marco's chasing boots, boots, but boots is unkillable. He just walks out of there. The body of Smith, the BOS, the and body of called. boots. Oh the oh. God. He gets close out one. very, very close. Are you telling me Onik wants to go for the seat without a Lord? That they do in the mid lane. Base are gonna be taken down. Boots, penalty zone, locking him down. Wild charge, Keyboy flickering back. CW. CW melted Ogwen. Oh. And now it's Kai with a fracture of his Fury. Even on to the blazing new effort. It's a double kill for Kyrie and Super Marco is forced back. Flap TZ falls. Game number one, they ended it in 23 minutes. Game number two, they're looking for the end in the 11th minute. No mini waves, they have the backup. Super Marco defending with one H, one member, 11 to one, what the heck? Another what the heck moment for Onik. A drastic difference from game one, calm and collected. Wow. They ended quickly, 2-0 in the series. The stadium is filling up. 
by the minute, more and more people are flooding in to watch this series. Onik wins game one in 22. They cut that in half. Oof, right now, we'll still. Kufra. There it is. Kufra. I, I swear I was going to say before he picked it. I was going to say that, that was, I was the flex. I swear I was going to say before he picked it. Well, I believe you, but you took your you took the buzzers off. Maybe that's that, why. Maybe that's why you didn't say it. You're right. You forgot the buzzers, man. I forgot the buzzers. <laughs> well, you're the ones with the B. Uh, the tennis. The tennis, so, right? Since so, I know you're about to ask me what I think about the yeah, draft overall exactly. because I have the foresight. Yes. Like e boy, as long as few can do that, it's definitely a possibility. Oh. The Tyrant's Revenge on the Keyboy, forcing a flicker out. Kaltizi jumping in with the damage. Kyrie doing the same what? thing. Turned around, first blood picked up by AP Prim, but Kyrie the try to help out. Try to get Super Marco and Rage just to get something what? there. Sans picks up one, he takes few down. Now Kyrie against Baptizi with the help of Boots. Keyboy as well. Boots finds the penalties on to the back. It's a killing spree for Kyrie. Dog is away. He buys the turtle. Onik are massacring AP Brent in the first two minutes. This is a lineup that I would like to just describe as finesse. That's what these heroes do. And that's how self Trex trying to buy some time for Super Marco. Protect him a little bit, right? Look at the pressure here. I mean, half of that gold lead is in the hands of Kyrie. Spatial Migration Ooh. canceled out, but he's going to be pinned down. Super Marco, Keyboy flickers out to safety, and CW gets out of the Tyrant's Rage. Not even One you. picked up by Sans now. You have the Starlium Scythe on at CW, so interaction-wise, magic damage-wise, is going to hurt even Ogwen. Zaman Force is going to be used up. Ogwen with the Tyrant's Rage. Able to lock Keyboy down and flickers out to safety right now. Keyboy is going to be able to pop that Requiem, but Count Easy. Takes him out. Electrifying beat. CW not able to find Super Marco just yet, but the turtle will be secured on the other side of the map with a petrol fight connecting. Sans and CW oh. turning around once again, and Sans body blocks the Astral Sphere. Flapteezy looking for a. Marco having a difficult time just trying to find the gold right now. Oh. Violet Requiem onto Kyrie's damage, onto Ogwen with a bouncing ball. Meanwhile, on the Ooh. other side of the map, CW oh. gets picked off. It's a two man dive in the bottom lane. In a mark and is able to unload. We are seeing him already rotate down. Ogwen looking for something. Oh. Orange Rage, Revenge as well, used up boots. Flashback all the way in. Kyrie! Oh. oh my goodness, the fracture from Kyrie! Just takes Super Marco out, he pops the Purify, but he's unable to get out of the burst. So, again, talking about Super Marco being behind, this furthers it, right? It's getting a little drastic here. Oh, you he need. Violet Requiem, Incandescent CW, executes Flapteezy. And Onik now. Part, he's also just looking for his own angle to entry with a penalty zone. So for the most part, you're not going to be clumped up together if you're Onik. Even with this, the conceal going to be used. They spawn out Ogwen for now. Uh-oh. 1v1 Suns! Solo kills Kyle Teasy. AP Bren, is there an answer at this point? It seems so difficult. Oh, another knock-up. Spatial migration into the battle of Requiem. Into everything to take Ogwen down. That's the tank. Or AP Bren, once again, backs against the wall. It's tough. The damage though from Kyle Teasy. Zaman Force coming down. Kyle Teasy with electric fight baits. Boots finds a penalty zone. And that might just be it with a violent requiem to take Ogwen down. Only one member left standing. It's Mew. Oh my god, AP Bren. This could what? be it. With one last incandescence, the Sky Kings have the golden road open, set for them to make the one last leap. There's only one thing that can explain this. The Atas Langit, Anya Onik! Another brick laid on the golden road as they head into the grand final for M5. It has been four years since Indonesia has made it to a grand finals. Onik have gotten through it. The naysayers, the doubters. They've been trying time and time again, and finally, they are closer on their golden road. Oh, do you know where that brings us once?